أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم. This video series will insha'Allah detail for us khushua in salah. We will insha'Allah cover the meanings of what is recited during salat, strategies for contemplation upon those meanings. and the implementation of khushua in general throughout the Salah. Firstly, what is khushua and why is it important? In general, khushua refers to humility and submissiveness to Allah. As we all know, arrogance is one of the worst behaviors and the action for which Iblis was cast out by Allah. Khushua, a deep humility felt within our hearts, is the cure for this illness of mankind. The more deeply we contemplate within our hearts the attributes of Allah, the greater our khashua will become. Surah Anbiya verse 90 describes for mankind why the dua of Prophet Zakariya alayhi salam was answered. So we answered his call and we bestowed upon him Yahya and cured his wife for him. Verily, they used to hasten toward good deeds, and they used to call on us with hope and fear, and they were to us khashin. So because Zakariya salam and his wife were humble towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, their dua was answered. So this shows the power of humility before Allah. And to show another motivation for us toward developing Khashua is Surah Ghashiyah. It begins, Has there come to you the news of the Al Ghashiyah, the overwhelming? Some faces that day will be Ghashiyah, will be humiliated. So on Yom Al Qiyam, the day of judgment, the disbelievers, the arrogant, the ungrateful of mankind, will be in a state of khashua, but then it will be too late. That humility will come from a great sorrow. So it is much better for us to develop khashua, humility towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now, and be rewarded insha'Allah for it, rather than be stubborn and have the humility forced upon us later as humiliation. Either way, all of creation will have khashua towards our Creator. Now our main topic is khashua in Salah. In addition to humility, khashua here also refers to the serenity and focus we have during our prayer. Most of us are aware of the vast importance of Salah. Allah tells us in Surah Zariyat, verse 56, and I created not the jinn and mankind except they should worship me. We also have the Hadith Qudsi where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam relates to us that Allah has said, The first of his actions for which a servant of Allah will be held accountable on the day of resurrection will be his prayers. If they are in order then he will have prospered and succeeded and if they are wanting then he will have failed and lost. We want the quality of our prayer to be as high as possible, and having khashua will promote that. Surah Baqarah verse 45 says, And seek help in patience and prayer, and truly it is difficult, except for al khashiyun So the believers with humility in their hearts do not find Salat difficult, they are not tired while standing or anticipating its finish. They are at peace during Salah. They are anticipating the time for prayer. Joining the Jamaat is a privilege they don't wish to miss. Khashua can make our ibadat easy and fulfilling, inshallah. As well, there is an interdependence between our focus and calm in society and during our Salah. They will both affect each other. Um Salama radiallahu anha, wife of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has said, During the time of the Prophet, when the people stood for prayer, 
their gaze would not go beyond the place of his feet. Then the Messenger of Allah passed away, and there was Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. When the people stood for prayer, their gaze would not go beyond the place of their foreheads. Then Abu Bakr passed away, and there was Umar radiallahu anhu. When the people stood for prayer, their gaze would not go beyond the place of the Qibla. Then finally Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu anhu became the leader, and the tribulations happened and people began looking left and right. So the general state of the Ummah was reflected within their prayer. During the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, people were so serene and focused, their eyes didn't leave the floor. Then with each passing year, that serenity was disturbed more and more. In the time of Uthman radiallahu anhu, there were great problems in the Ummah. At that time, people could not focus in their salat. And now imagine us today. We are running through our shopping lists in the sujood because our environment and lifestyles are so lacking of khushua. Wasala is the root word from which salat is derived. Wasala means connection. Salat is our time of connection between yourself and Allah. You are standing right in front of Allah. Although we forget this most of the time, Rasulullah reminds us with his hadith, When you pray, you are talking confidentially to your Lord, so look to what you confide to Him. We have the opportunity to connect with Allah five times each day. What a privilege this is! Imagine Allah had never sent messengers to mankind. We were alone and wandering all our lives if we lived with no sense of purpose as do the disbelievers today. Then we discovered there is a God and He has shown us how to communicate with Him each day. How excited would we be? I'd like to close this introduction with two verses from Quran which demonstrate the profound nature of Khashua. Surat al-Mu'minun begins Successful indeed are the believers, those who in their salat are khashiyun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives six descriptions of a true believer in the opening of this surah. And what is the first one he lists? Those who are humble and focused in their salah, the khashiyun. And finally, Surat Hashar, verse 21. A very famous verse. Allah states, Had we sent down this Qur'an on a mountain, you would surely have seen it khashian and broken to pieces by the fear of Allah. Can we even comprehend the magnitude of this statement? How strong is a mountain? Is there anything that can level a mountain? Hurricanes, tornadoes, explosions, nothing can destroy a mountain. An atom bomb will clean off all of the trees, but it can't wipe the entire mountain away. Allah is telling us, These revelations, this Qur'an which we read while standing in Salat, is so powerful and has such a huge impact. If it was possible for a mountain to recite it, the mountain itself would be humbled and fall to pieces. The power of the Qur'an is so great, mountains themselves will have khashua and then fall down in prostration. Insha'Allah we can at least attempt to allow whatever meaning we can of the Qur'an into our hearts during our salah. Allahumma sali ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammad. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum.